Good evening, my name is Diana Estrada. I'm a GISP and I'm also a lead AP accredited professional. Um, I work at Pond and Company as a GS manager and also um, GIS instructor at Kennesaw State University. I've been working with this technology for over 18 years and I'm going to talk today about very sustainable Georgia. Nowadays, sustainability it has been an important issue and um, everybody is talking more and more about it. And um, GIS can support this effort and this initiative and I'm going to explain to you how. There are now technologies that can help uh, builders and constructors to uh, build green. Uh, with this, you can maximize the economic and environmental performance. Um, USGBC, which is the US Green Building Council, it is coordinating the efforts for uh, making tools to distribute into the industry and get uh, the buildings to operate and be designed in a way that it is, has a high performance inside and outside the building. Um, one of the key points of the USGBC is to transform the way that um, the communities are designed, built and operated to make more um, socially and environmental responsibility in people and get that in their minds and also improve quality of life. Interesting fact is that one number one uh, CO2 uh, pollutant in, um, in the United States is buildings. Uh, as you can see in this slide, buildings are, creates more pollution than transportation or the industry. Um, green building can help reduce um, energy and energy use, uh, CO2 emissions, and water use, and also waste, uh, solid waste. The indoor occupants are going to be healthier and more productive. Usually people in the United States spend more than 90% of the time inside, um, in, indoors, and uh, that helps to have green buildings because usually those buildings are going to have better environmental air quality and better lighting. Uh, right now there is a big demand on green building because um, now there's, there are more initiatives from the government to build more and more with this technology and also um, the residential construction are getting towards um, green building. And also there are improvements in sustainable uh, materials and um, it is that increasing more and more. Now how business see green building? Um, it increases the value of the building, decreases the operational cost, um, increase the return on investment and um, the rent ratio and occupancy it is going to be much better. What is, what is LEED? LEED is a program that USGBC put together in order to accomplish all of these um, initiatives. Now, there are five areas in which the LEED program is going to use. It is sustainable sites, it is going to be water use, energy, and materials, and indoor environmental quality. Um, the way that the LEED program works is there are so many points that a, a project, let's say a school building, can achieve in any of these areas and then depending on the number of points that the project achieved you will get certain certification. You can be a project certified if you have a certain number of points or gold, um, silver, gold or platinum. So platinum is the highest uh, certification that you can get from the USGB or the level, the higher level that you can get. Now GIS can support this more in the site planning. For example, um, site selection you have to place your site or your building or your project in a place that is not a parkland. It cannot be um, a farmland either. It has to be above um, the five foot, um, 100, 100 year flood level and um, cannot be in an, in an habitat of endangered species. So with GIS, you can analyze this information much easier and faster than doing that manually. And also, 
for example, another credit and is related to density development and community connectivity, in which the site has to be um, half a mile radius inside a place that you can have uh, at least 10 basic services like um, store, bank, church, um, any post office, etc. And also, the site has to be in a, in a residential area, or close to a residential area, area, in which you have to have at least 10 units per acre. So with GIS, it's a perfect tool that helps you to produce and analyze this information and make sure that um, you comply with those credits. Um, as you can see, you can save money and time using the GIS technology and also it can be a better presentation. Um, additionally, GIS can help managing your projects within an agency. And um, you can have a lot of projects, let's say for Georgia, um, let's say building authority, and then you can have the location of all of those projects and you can have certain parameters like how much um, energy uh, the project is saving. Um, and also, uh, you can use all of these parameters to get all the projects approved or to locate and allocate your budgets better. So in conclusion, GIS can make uh, the process of site location faster, better presentation, can be more efficient for data gathering and processing, and also uh, for achieving those lead points. And also, uh, GIS can track information and location of the projects, lead projects that you have, and to manage budgets in a better way and easier. Thank you so much.